here again at the Prep Classic uh, with Coach Mike Hart from St. Andrews. Um, I was I was laughing coming in uh, talking to Greg Kristoff. Uh, I was 21 years old, Mike, uh, running around Pocono Invitational, and uh, it was 6:30 in the morning, and I had my my notebook out taking drills uh, from Coach Mike Hart, who was running Early Bird Special. Uh, and that was that was 10 years ago. Uh, was it I... 10 or was it last year? <laughs> It might have been last year, but uh, no. For me, this is this is really cool to be able to talk to you, and I know we've known each other now for a while. Yes. Um, part of what we're doing here, obviously, the voice of the grassroots community, is to talk to people like you. Um, oh, good. And uh, <laughs> and you know, let people know out there, the viewing audience in the grassroots community, some important things that are going on. Um, obviously, a good win yesterday. Yeah. The the uh, the early season games are very interesting mm -hmm. because. You have we have to have a tryout. So Sunday, November fifteenth, we have a tryout. Okay. So we really start practicing Monday the sixteenth. Practice for three or four days. Go home for a week. Come back. Practice two days and play a game. Okay. And um, and then we have you know this this awesome weekend that comes in. So it's uh, it's always interesting to see how the kids perform. Sure. And uh, but the other teams on the same boat we're in. So you know it just uh, makes for some challenges. But I was happy with how the guys played yesterday. And, Mike, what's the outlook, uh, you know, 15, 16 St. Andrews team? What are, what are your thoughts and expectations? Well, the good thing with the prep school is you can assemble a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. The bad thing with the prep school, as I just mentioned, is, is the lack of practice time. It's hard. The team that gets the kids to gel right. um, and accept roles usually does well in prep school. Where a normal high school situation, you have a system. You know, kids are like third and fourth grade and, you know, grassroots and they're running this thing and right. junior high and all that. So uh, it's, it's a little easier in that uh, term. So the team in February and March who has gelled, has accepted roles, and actually who really wants to be there and not go home for spring break right. is the team that usually wins the championship. And I'm sure. hoping that this group of kids with their, their high character, I think that uh, we could be in the mix at the end. Uh, in terms of, and we, we we want to inform the grassroots community more, uh, you know, because there's so much information, so much misinformation out there. With your experience at this level, uh, you know, for a kid that wants to play at your level one day, at the prep school level, what, what's your advice uh, for a young grassroots player who aspires to be at a St. Andrews one day? Well, I think they really need to uh, pay attention on the the little things. Uh, the skill works good but they have to learn how to play basketball right. and they have to understand screens and cuts and situations because uh, the prep schools right now are, are mini colleges mm -hmm. and we're giving them that college prep experience and those are the types of um, expectations they're going to get right. uh, when they get to college. So they're going to have to know the motion offense, the man-to-man -man defense and so they need to pay attention at an early age um, and pick those type, types of skills up. Right. The other thing is they need to apply to a lot of schools. You think, you know, uh, admissions uh, works with you, and they do. But, at, you know, they might have an idea of a kid that you, you know, you really want, and they sure. might say, well, they're not a good fit for the school. Right. And, um, you know, I've lost a lot of Rhode Island kids, and I think it's great mm -hmm. because, um, you know, some kids need to get it further away from home. Other kids weren't a good fit here. Right. And, uh, you know, as long as they're in the league, and, and I think that's what I love about NEPSAC all the coaches, we tend to work together and do what's best for the kid. Sure. And uh, so that would be a big, big thing with, with, with middle school kids. Apply to a bunch of schools, not just one, because you might not get in. Makes sense. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Great information. Um, and then, Mike, in terms of, um, you know, the kid and the player that you look for, uh, what, are, what are some qualities, intangible, tangible, uh, that, you know, prerequisites to play for you? Uh, we tend to find the guy that is a little bit under the radar. For example, the kids who played in the NBA from St. Andrews. Demetrius Nichols was a little bit known, but we got him as a 14-year-old freshman. Right. And he developed here and, and, you know, through his work ethic. And, you know, uh, Coach O'Shea, you know, my assistant, John, does an unbelievable job. And uh, so I think he developed here. Right. You know, Michael Carter Williams a little bit, a little bit more well known, but everyone's eyes ah, too small. Blah blah blah. He really wasn't like on a list. Sure. And those are the types of guys I'm looking for. I'm looking for the hungry guy that's on the list. Now, obviously, Michael had a lot of advantages with, you know, his stepfather Zach working sure. him out all the time. His sure. mom's a coach, 
and uh, you you could see that he was going to progress. Right. Uh, so so I, I try to find a guy that wants to get better. Right. That that might be a little bit out of shape, uh, but needs to you know needs the weight room. Uh, you know, a point guard that that needs to you know, become a better shooter. Uh, those type of guys. I don't like. I don't mind post grads right. because we've had some great, great kids. J.R. Lynch, sure. you know, Malcolm Smith, to name a couple. Joe Cardi, uh, Timmy Real at Brandeis. But uh, I like, I like the three and four year kids also. Right. And, and those type of guys have to have the work ethic. The other thing too is you gotta have, you gotta be able to um, qualify. Right. If I don't think you're gonna right. qualify with these new That's standards, right. I'm yeah. not gonna touch you. With the new and, progression. And all the prep school coaches should be telling kids that. Yeah. Because I, I don't think it's um, it's right taking a kid if you know he's not going to qualify, and then the last thing is is the behavior. You got to behave, right? Because I, I can't have any head in, cases that say anything. in school. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't, we can't. Zero we, they got to behave, right? And they got to get involved in the community, right. which our guys usually do. So. That's great. So, Mike, the, uh, the the next section we do is we call five and five. Uh, so it's a little more rapid fire, one word, one sentence. Great. Uh, some you know basketball. Topics. By the way, Patriots tonight, thirty-one twenty-eight, Gibby. <laughs> Lock it in, Mike. You, you can lock it in if you want. Well, he he sits here He's each a- week and gives you <laughs> his picks. He never even played the game. I played the game. All right, got it. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, here we go. College or pro coach that you steal from the most in terms of X's and O's? Billy Donovan. Uh, the player that you coached that was the toughest and the, 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 the most winningest player that you coached? Timmy Reel. Uh, your favorite sports movie? By far, Rocky. Not even close. The real story. Best restaurant in Providence. Used to be Camille's. Now it's Camille's Andino's. Big. Andino's big time. Yep. Fried Diablo. I love it. <laughs> Mr. Gibbs hooked me up with that. I really like that place. Uh, and then, you know, after watching you all these years, uh, what's your favorite name for a basketball set that you run? This is well documented. Photosynthesis. <laughs> We're always teaching at St. Andrews, even on the basketball court. We're going to have to give some insight in later uh, shows as to what, what I mean by that. Photosynthesis, I love it. And the, and the final part, Mike, t- uh, in terms of uh, how do we follow St. Andrews, and I know you have a, a, a tor- holiday classic coming up that just want to let people know about. Yeah, December 18th and 19th, we'll, uh, we'll reset both gyms. Uh, and we have I, about 20, a little smaller than this event, we have about 20 teams coming in. And uh, both days will be packed from, you know, 2 in the afternoon to 11 at night. Great. And, uh, and then uh, I just tell everyone, make sure you check the website because when the snow falls and we have to travel three hours for a game, it might get canceled. All right. Well, Mike, right. thanks so much. Uh, for me, this is a treat. Like I said, 21-year-old guy taking notes, uh, you know, up in the Poconos. So thanks again. Great. All right. Thank you, Kev.